मौन व्रत श्रुत तप अध्ययन स्वधर्म व्याख्या रहो जप समाधि आप प्रज्ञा प्राय परम पुरुषती तो अजीत इंद्रियानम वार्ता भवंती उत न बाम्बिकानम ट्रांसलेशन ओ सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी गॉडहेड देर आर तीन प्रिस्क्राइब मेथड्स ऑन द पाथ ऑफ लिबरेशन टू रिमेन साइलेंट नॉट टू स्पीक टू एनी वन टू जॉर पॉज टू मॉस ऑल काइंड ऑफ वेदिक नॉलेज टू अंडर गोस्ट रीडीज टू स्टडी द वेदस and other basic literatures to execute the duties of varnasram dharma to explain the shastras to stay in a solitary place to chant mantras silently and to be absorbed in trance these different methods for liberation are generally only professional practice and means of livelihood for those who are not conquer their senses because such persons are falsely proud this procedures may not be successful purport by sila prabhupad as stated in simad bhagavatam sixth canto kechit kevaya bhaktyaha vasudhi vo parayanah agham dhunnanti kasmino nyaharam ivo bhaskarah only a rare person who has adopted complete and loyal devotional service to krishna can approach the weeds of sinful actions with no possibility that they will revive he can do this simply by discharging devotional service just as the sun can immediately dissipate fog by its rays The real purpose of human life is to attain liberation from material entanglement. Such liberation may be achieved by many methods. Tapasa Brahma Chajena Samena Chadamena Chad. But all of them, more or less, depend on tapasya astriti, which begins with celibacy. Sudha Goswami says that those who are Vasudeva Parayana, who are fully surrendered to the lotus feet of Lord Vasudeva Krishna, automatically achieve the results of Mauna, silence, Brata, Bhosh, and other such methods, simply by discharging devotional service. In other words. these methods are not so powerful if one takes to devotional service all of them are very easily performed mauna for example doesn't mean that one should just stop speaking the tongue is meant for speaking although sometimes to make a big show a person remains silent there are many observe silence some day in a week vaisnava fiber do not observe so silence silence means not speaking foolishly speakers at assemblies conferences and meetings generally speak foolishly like toads this is described by sri rup goswami as baat to be go one who wants to say something can show himself to be a big orator but rather than go on speaking nonsense better to remain silent this method of silence therefore is recommended for persons who are tasked to speaking nonsense one who is not a devotee must speak nonsensically because he doesn't have the power to speak about the glories of krishna thus whatever he says is influenced by the illusory energy and is compared to the croaking of a frog 
one who speaks about the glories of the Lord, however, has no need to be silent. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu recommends Kirtaniya Chala Hari. One should go on chanting the glories of the Lord 24 hours a day. There is no cost in of becoming mono or silent. The ten processes for liberation or improvement and the path of liberation are not meant for the devotees. Kevalaya Bhaktya. If one simply engages in devotional service to the Lord, all ten methods of liberation are automatically absorbed. The Lord Maharaj's proposal is that such processes may be recommended for the Ajitendriya, those who cannot conquer their senses. Devotees, however, have already conquered their senses. Sarvapadi vidrimuktam tat paratpena nirmalam tat paratpena nirmalam A devotee is already freed from material condemnation. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sasudhi Thakur therefore said, Dushta mana tumi kisher vaisnava pratishthar tari nirjanir bhare tava harinam kevar paitava. There are many who like to chant Hare Krishna mantra in a silent, solitary place. But if one is not interested in preaching, talking constantly to the non-devotees, the influence and modes of nature is very difficult to surpass. Therefore, unless one is extremely advanced in Krishna consciousness, one should not imitate Haridas Thakur, who had no other business than chanting the holy name always 24 hours a day. Prahlad Maharaj doesn't condemn such a person. He accepts it, but without active service to the Lord, simply by such methods, one generally cannot attain liberation. One cannot attain liberation simply by false pride. Srimadesi Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupaji Maharaj Angaro Bhashya Nona Brata Sruta Tapo Adhyana Swadharma Bakhyara Ho Japo Samadhyo Aap Bhartyaha Praya Param Purusati Tvajite Indriyana Bharata Bhavanti Utana Bhatrata Dambita Prahlad Maharaj A great devotee, the Mahadam so speaks such conclusively, hmm. speaks impartial, you understand? Impartial, you understand? In general, there is general saying hmm. in the human society, Satyam Bhriyat, Priyam Bhriyat, Maam Bhriyat, Satyam Abhriyam. He is saying it here. Speak the truth. Huh? Speak. Such things which will be very pleasurable, like it. Do you understand? But don't speak. Apriya Satya, unpalatable truth. Do you understand? Don't speak unpalatable truth. The truth is not palatable. But in the spiritual path, this is not recommended. However, the truth may be unpalatable. Speak it. You understand? Speak it. That is step. So, Prahlad Mahara speaks here unpalatable truth. You understand? Those who are dambhikanan, he says, a person who are falsely proud, they do all these things. Huh? Devotees don't do it. Rather, these are contradictory, and these are like stumbling blocks in the path of devotion. You understand? Hmm. And in the purport, Srila Prabhupada 
has uh, explained very nicely about mono mm, and about all these things. What is real mono? Mono doesn't mean not to speak anything. Just close your mouth. Mm. There are many people, as Prabhupada has already said, they absorb silence a, a day in a week. They don't say anything. What is that? Oh, silence. Mono, mono. I'm absorbing mono broto. What is that? Mono broto. You never speak. They don't say. Just <laughs> like that, they give him same song. <laughs> and some are there. They have a, with a slate and pencil just write down. All right. What is that? This nonsense. They are cheating. Koito. You understand? And what is the real benefit of absorbing such mona? Silence. It is also said that one who can constantly absorb this mob silence, Mona Brother, for twelve years, he'll achieve a siddhi, perfection, bhaksiddhi. Whatever you say, that will come true or be, <coughs> will take place. You understand? A type of yogi perfection. So they do like that. For twelve years, not to speak anything. So absorb this bow. Therefore they achieve bhaksiddhi. Mm. That means whatever they will say, that will take place. You know, I have this siddhi, perfection. You will ask out. I will curse you. He says like that. Dumb become. <laughs> he shows his false pride. You understand? But devotee never does so. Mm. The tongue is mean. The tongue has two business. And so vibrate sounds and to test the shot. Vibrate this transcendental sound, Hare Krishna, eh? Sri Kam Krishna, glorify Krishna, preach the message of Krishna. That's real silence. Don't speak nonsense, as Rupa Goswami says. Prasalapal. Eh? Hmm? And Upadesh Hamta, he says, Prasalapal. Prasalapal means speaking nonsense. Eh? You understand? If someone speaks nonsense, it is also said that his span uh, of life is being cut short. Yes. Because some energy is being exhausted thereby. Hmm? If you speak nonsense, the energy is exhausted. Your lifespan will be cut short. But don't speak nonsense. Speak. If you are so capable, so powerful, speak twenty-four hours about Krishna. Chant his name. So lifespan will be enhanced thereby. If you speak nonsense, lifespan will be cut off. That is also stated. You understand? Mm. So Prahlad Maharaj condense such persons who take to this sort of bow of silence. You understand? And mm, quoting the statements uh, given by Slavakti Siddhanta, Saraswati Goswami Maharaj, Mayangur Maharaj says, Dusta mana tumi kise boishnav Pratishthara tore nirjanara ghore tabo harinama kebola koitava. Koitava means cheating. Eh? You 
Dushta mana means we can mind. What sort of Vaishnav you are? Is there Vaishnav? Only for Pratishtha, never and say. You go to a solitary place and do their mauna japa, harina. This is kaitavas, all the chedi. What sort of Vaishnav you are? He says. Mahadhanas, like Sati Siddhanta, Bhakti, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, they have said, who is Vaishnava? The song that I am, I was singing, Kanaka Kamini Pratishtha Bhagini Chariya Ache Jare Saito Vaishnava. Sai Anasatta Sai Sudha Bhakta Sansara Tathai Pai Parabhava. Jadha-jagya bhoga nahi tatha roga anasakta se kiyara kahiva. Asakti rahita samanda saita vishaya samma kakali mahadava. Se jukta vairagya taha to sovagya taha i jadate haiva bhoiva. Kirtani jahara patishtha sammara tahara sampati kevala kahiva. He says, who is Vaishnava? One was given Given up this kanaka, kamini, pradishtha, bhagi. You understand? Kanaka means gold, kamini, woman, and pradishtha, woman, pay. One was given up all these things. He is Vaishnava. You understand? Say the Vaishnava. Say anasakta, say suddha bhakta. He is really the task. He really renounced. He is really Pure devotee. Sansar tathai pai parabhava. The so called sansar is defeated there. You understand? Jadha jagya bhava nahi tathai roga. Ana sattva sehi kiyara koi bhava. Whatever necessary to maintain this body for the service of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, just accept it, you understand? Not less, not more. Hmm? In Bhagavad Gita, Krishna has said that thing. Jukta haro viharasya. Jukta haro viharasya, jukta sopno bhavodasya. Yoga bhavati dukha ha. That Krishna has. Jukta ahar vihar, whatever necessary, parimito, eating and retiring, retirement of all these things, ahar vihar. Jukta sopna bhavodasya and sleep for six hours a day, take rest, not more or less. This is required for the maintenance of this body. We have metal body. Hmm. So this is required. Hmm. Yoga bhavati dukkha. Then perform yoga. Then all the metal miseries will be annihilated. Yoga bhavati dukkha. Krishna says yoga. Hmm. Jadha jogya bhoga tatha nahi roga. Anasakta sehi kiyara kohiva, one who does this thing. There is no misery, there is no disease, it is really the task. Asakti raita samanda saita vichara samma shakali madhava. You understand? The task meant, that means not to be a task to material sense gratification, not to be a task to so-called sansara or material world, not to be a task to your bodily relationships. This is asakti rahita. You understand? Samanda saita. We have only one relationship, that is with Krishna. No other relationship. There is a real relationship. Vishaya samu sakali mahabhav. Madhav is a Vishoyi. Madhav means Supreme Lord. 
you understand? He is the only Vishoy. That means he has created all the subjects. And these are all to be enjoyed by him, not by anybody else. So he is Vishoy. You understand? Vishoy Loka is he who enjoys all this. Objects is Vishoy. But here Mahadhan says Madhav. So called Madhav. Madhav is Vishoy. Only Madhav is the enjoyer. Nobody. So is Vishoy. Se Jukta Vairagya Tahate Sobagya Tahai Jorete Horibo Buibo. That is known as Jukta Vairagya. Real detachment. Halbu Vairagya Jukta Vairagya. I was saying the other day, you understand? Falgo means sitting Vairagya. Jukta Vairagya, real Vairagya. Tahi Jodete Vairagya. That is required. Kirtane Jaharo Pradishta Sammaro, Jaharo Sampati Keva Koitava. One who does Kirtan, only to have name and fame, that Kirtan is sitting. Keva Koitava. You understand? Brajavasi Gana Prachara Ka Dhano Pratishta Vikki Ka Tara Nahe Shava. Brajavasi, the residents of Brajabhumi, that means devotees, they preach the glories of Krishna, Vasudev Krishna. They are not at all this name and fame. Do you understand? They are not dead bodies. Shava, Shava means dead body. They are not dead bodies. So they do it. Prana Acheta, they are life. Sehetu Prasad, they are for the preach. Because they are life. They are not dead bodies. Pratishthasa, he no Krishna Gatha Shava. You understand? So they never aspire for this Pratishtha, the name and fame. They only preach. Throughout the world is Krishna Gata. Sri Dvaita Dasa Kitta Nitya Asa Koro Ucha Sare Harina Amara. So chant loudly Hare Krishna, why silently? Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Kirtana Prabhave Smarana Haive Sekale Padana Nitya Saskirta. That will real other Nirjan Pada. That means chanting in a solitary place. You understand? They, Sajitindriyanam, those who are not Jitindriya, those who are not conquered there, sense it. They go to solitary place for this sort of absorbing silence and chanting. Eh? But here, Mahagana says, Kirtana Prabhavya Smarana Aide, Sekale Bodo Nirjan Shambha. They go to such solitary places because there will be no disturbances. There will be no disturbances. But if you chant loudly, Hare Krishna, so no disturbances will come. So that is a real solitary place, staying in a solitary place. Then Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Hare, Hare So, say, oh, no disturbance. There will be some disturbance that will never come to you. The chanting loudly, Hare Krishna, is a realist to stay in a certain place. You understand? Mahadana. Say so. Hmm. Rather, here it is said hmm, that uh, those who are not really devotees, hmm, those who have been disappointed. And who have come out and successful, all endeavors, all sorts of endeavors, they just uh, 
take to this process of selling Srimad Bhagavatam. That means by saying on Srimad Bhagavatam, they earn money. Pung Bhagavatam. Bhagavat Devushai. You understand? They are businessmen. They are selling Bhagavatam. In Adri Sangita, it has been said, Vedir Vihinastha Patanti Shastram, Shastrena Hinastha Purana Pata, Purana Hina Krishino Bhavanti, Vastastha To Bhagavata Bhavanti. Adri Sangita says, yeah? Someone, suppose one person, hmm, that's very hard labor to acquire Vedic study, their part, but when he becomes unable to do it, he starts to read religious books, Dharma Shastra part. When he cannot achieve so much good result in that business, studying religious scriptures, then he becomes Purana Bhakta to speak on the stories of Puranas. When he becomes not so much proficient or successful in that profession, then he becomes a farmer. Farmer, cultivator. Do you understand? Kushok. And if he cannot get his desired enjoyment by that profession, he gives up that farming business and becomes Bhagavata Pathok Bhavhundu Bhagavata, a false hmm, a cheating Bhagavata, speaking of Bhagavata. You understand? You'll find so many such Bhanda Bhagavatas, uh, Sivda Bhagavatas, you understand? Pandits, the speaking Bhagavat in Vrindavan. You understand? In Vrindavan. In this coming month, Karthik, you'll find many places that are going on. What is going on? Bhagavat. Prabhupada Bhagavat. Pandit has come. I have seen. They are all sealed of Bhagavata, born of Bhagavata. They are just speaking on Bhagavata and getting money. Get them. They are known as Bhagavata Devotai. Mm. This is Bhagavata Devotai. They are doing business in Bhagavata. But Bhagavata is not such a scripture. It is to be distributed, not to, you should not do it for your own mm, life, mm, any livelihood. That is pop, sinful activity, pop says, you understand? Mm. So, Nona means speak on Krishna. Mm. Don't speak nonsense. That is real mauna. That is real mauna. Mauna doesn't mean that you don't speak anything. You remain silent. That's not mauna. Darvai you will be captured by maya. And darvai by you get some yogi perfection and just to have some this time, mm. this name and fame, just have some siddhi, yogi perfection, to build up the innocent father. They are pretending. Mm. These ten processes for liberation or improvement on the path of liberation are not meant for the 
devotees. Devotees are always engaged in loving service of the Lord, thereby they get all these things automatically. डेमिगढ़ी However great he may be, in this material world, great learned scholar, pundit, great orator, platform speaker, huh? a great political leader, he has no good qualities at all. Only he was is speculating. Manorthena asati dhavata bhi. You understand? He is only speculating. Like Rama, I will build a staircase from this earth to this planet. You all go, don't bother. This remains, remained in speculation. We cannot, couldn't do it. We are scared. We dare or Rama finish everything. You understand? So these people. Materially, all people they are like that. They are only speculating. So, Shastra says, Mahasana says, "Sarva bhadi bin muktam tad paritam nirmalam." The devotee is already free from material contamination. Ah, is is really ajitendriya. His senses. As his senses are at least engaged in service of Krishna, to see that his senses are controlled, other processes, the small no pranayam, jnan dharana samadhi, asan pranayam processes to control the senses are not. Subjective process, as process of adopting the path of devotion service of the understand many instances are there. The so-called yogis, so-called uh, they say persons who take this word mono silence are under. The clauses of their uh, senses, you see. Mm. To take the example of Vishwamitra Muni, sixty thousand years uh, he did this sadhana. Mm. He was silent, did sadhana, arjun pranaya. Mm. Still he could conquer his wicked mind and senses. Was captured by men, even the prostitute. Yes. But Haridas Thakur, the devotee, where the prostitute or Maya Devi herself is defeated, couldn't entrap him. You see, but so-called yogi, a so-called person, takes to this breath of hope, mono. But is not captured by Maya. You understand? So Prahlad Maharaj condemns them. These are God by the poets. Rather, these are considered to be contradictory, to be detrimental to Bhakti. You understand? Only practice bhakti and give yourself in the loving service of the Lord and get all this. You understand? Automatically, this is all men have to be bhakti. Yes. Any question you have?
uh, the uh, materialists, if they read that verse about how one makes business out of bubble mm. they could very easily look at us and say, well, this whole Iskon society is based on selling bubble oh. <laughs> It seems like we're a contradiction to our own freedom. Yes. Devotees sell Bhagavad book. Thereby they are giving opportunity to the people to serve Krishna or crop a pure devotee, Vaishnava. By getting money from the people, by giving them Bhagavata, they utilize that money the service of Guru, Vaishnava, and Krishna, not for their sense gratification. So they are not Gavasai's businessmen, but so-called Bhagavata Gavasai, so-called Pandits, they speak in Bhagavata and get money, and by that money they do sense gratification. They do sinful activities. Devotees never do this. That's not profession. That's not a business. That is distributing mercy. Vaishnavas distribute mercy in their body. Prabhupada, my Guru Maharaj says, if someone takes Bhagavat, giving some money, takes Bhagavat, never reach the gifts it in his house, he gets benefit. And he gets benefit. Because Bhagavat is not different from Krishna. Hmm? Krishna Tulya Bhagavata is as good as Krishna. Hmm? Krishna and his Bani is non different. So he keeps Krishna in his house. The day will come. His son or his son may read it and get benefit. Do you understand? He says like this is a business, we are not doing business. We are distributing mercy. You understand? They cannot understand it. So they say like that. <laughs> yes. Uh, what about the situation of someone like the Gree Hustle? If he does if he goes out and sells a Bhagavatam to support his family. That's the same, is it? It's cheating. You see, devotee or Vaishnava, if he's a family man, his family is not ordinary family. All the members of his family are Vaishnavas and should be Vaishnavas. You understand? All should be related to Krishna. You understand? The relationship is there among them. Husband and wife, father and son, friend and friend, all these things. Hmm? Master and servant, whatever relationship is there, must be based on the relationship to Krishna. This is Vaishnava family, Sadhur Sunta. Dharva is so public. How to do Sunta? Krishna Sunta, not Maya Sunta. You understand? And so that. Rasta Vaishnava, householder Vaishnava, must do some business for Krishna. For the service of Krishna or for the maintenance of the devotees of Krishna. Not for his sense gratification. This is Vaishnava. You understand? Yes. He is not an ordinary household. He is 
Vaishnavas. As long as he's following the principle. Yes. He never runs after the sense gratification. He never does anything for his sense gratification. He, he does anything for the gratification of the sense of Krishna. He is Vaishnava. But uh, little people can understand it. They cannot understand it. And they should be taught. You have to teach them. The Vaishnava becomes Gurvastha. How to maintain family in Krishna consciousness? Make all the members of the family as Krishna Bhagavad Gita, Krishna. In other words, to do Krishna Sansar. You are doing Maya Sansar, but do Krishna Sansar. And therefore, the sadhu becomes Gurvastha. This, this thing. So we shouldn't think that we have to go out somewhere else to preach. Our whole life should be preaching an example. Yes, preaching the example. Therefore, that saying is that. What is that? Oh, Paniyachari Bhakti. Huh? Ah. Uh, precept is better than example. That is saying. Huh? Example is better than precept. <laughs> Example is better than precept. You understand? Not only perception, but example. Example is better than precept. That by showing practical example, it is just. You understand? <laughs> Uh, if they don't accept Lord Chaitanya, then their destination is Vaikuntha world, so yes. And yesterday in class we quoted uh, Prabhupada Sarasvati. Yes. That, uh, those who don't accept Krishna, they can't leave this material world. It's a Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Yeah. Mm. So it seems like a contradiction. The, if one doesn't accept Lord Chaitanya, he has to say... No, Lord if they all but so Chaitanya as the Supreme Person of the God, ah. they will walk here in this cycle of Bhakti. Ah. But according to uh, the class theme, this week, the, the other Sampadaya, they don't accept Lord Chaitanya. But they get liberation. But these people cannot get liberation. You understand me? <coughs> the other sampradayas, they get liberation. They go to Vaikuntha. Even though they don't accept Lord Chaitanya. They may accept or may not accept. They may, they may not come under the Chaitanya. So this path of loving and devotion of service. They are Opulent, I saw it here. They are not in Madhurya. Then, so, so they go to Vaikuntha. Vaikuntha is the place of I saw it here. Opulent. You understand? But so they are liberated. They will get liberated. But these people, maybe very great learned scholar, Pandit, they are great, they are not fear. If it doesn't accept Sita Mahatma, Supreme Person of God, it is going to be liberated. He will be undergoing here in life and life in different places. Ah. You understand? But it's not dependent except the path of, say, Ramanuja Sampadaya. Yes. Even though he doesn't accept Lord Chaitanya, he can still get liberation. He is taking the liberation. Is the follow Ramanuja? Ah. Allah. You understand? Yes. That Prabhupada is also before. So it's not that everybody who doesn't accept Lord Chaitanya has to say. Many talking about the speculators. That's 